Guys, here's our outdoor. We're gonna set the new outdoor in the existing location. Refrigerant lines will get flushed and pressure tested. Um, way up here at the top, he would like that pipe, that's the secondary drain pan pipe, he would like that to be connected and ran down to the ground um, so he can see outside when that pan is getting full of water. Um, I told him we would put a new puck up there. That's the gable where that vent is gonna go, that attic vent. Uh, but yeah, everything here is uh, pretty straightforward. We'll bring some papers to get things leveled out. And then you got easy access to the road here. You may have to roll it up through the neighbor's driveway. Hey guys, here's my attic fan that we're going to be replacing. We'll pull that thing out and put our new one in place. There is a light switch right down here. Um, this light switch right up at the top right of the scuttle hole is how you're going to turn the lights on up inside of the attic. There it is right there. And then there's a plug that comes from that attic fan down to an outlet. Okay guys, we're still up here in the attic at Don's house. Um, I think this is where we're gonna go ahead and put our scuttle hole. I'll let you guys determine that whenever you're here, but we're on the opposite side of the chimney. Right over there is where that uh, pipe is that needs to be repaired. <clears throat> and this seems to be the best spot from that, that room that we were in down in the on the second floor. Um, to put the scuttle hole. Just be careful of the nails and stuff sticking out of the ceiling here while you're working over there on that side. The other option would be the opposite side, um, but there's there's a lot more going on here with the roof line. I think this side works the best. And there's your overview. Over there's the attic fan on the wall. Um, let me jump over there and show you what we're gonna be doing with that replacement. Hey guys, I am upstairs in the attic at Don's house, uh, Don and Neva, and this is Mike's parents' house. We're going to do a replacement here of a Unico system. We'll pull the blower and coil modules out, and we're gonna be cutting a new hole in the other side of the attic over there for us to run our, um, the, for our new scuttle hole, for us to get in and out of the attic. It'll be over here on that side of the, that side of the house somewhere in that room you'll be able to see it whenever you guys come for the install and it's basically just for an extra attic access somewhere over there in between those two joists wherever we can find the best space probably right there in about the center of that beam <clears throat> A um, couple things I want to look at up here while you guys are doing the installation is we're going to bring a, a little bit of plywood. We'll lay down plywood on the other side of this build or on the other side of this system as well. Um, drain lines, let's get all those redone. Um, if you guys want to put the drain line in the bottom of the pan, we can do that. Let's make the make sure the pan is level first off that everything is draining towards the drain. Um, let's clear these drains out. So blow air through them or nitrogen or whatever you got. Um, and then make sure that everything's clear all the way down to the outside. The refrigerant lines will get cut, flushed, and pressure tested. All my electrical is going to stay. We'll reuse that. Um, thermostat's right down below the system here, so we'll just put a new thermostat on the existing wiring. Ductwork looks okay until you get over here to this far corner. So this is uh, next to the chimney there. It's disconnected. So let's go ahead and jump in there and, um, and fix that fix that entire supply run, um, whatever we need to do to, to patch that up. Everything else looked okay up here. I don't see any other major issues. Venture back this way. Um, I'll go ahead and put a new video in, or another video in about where we're, where I think we're gonna put that, uh, put that scuttle hole.